I call my speech how to win the interview game. On April 23rd, the Cyprus U.S. Chamber of Commerce hosted its annual career fair in Manhattan, giving once again the opportunity to job seekers to meet one-on-one -on -one with potential employers. Several companies from different industries participated and discussed career opportunities with those in need of a job. The highlight of the event was uh, Mrs. Mikey Stavrianidis, who gave an in-depth presentation on the art of interviewing, sharing a lot of tips and information as to how job seekers should conduct themselves when attending a job interview. Despina, uh, you're the executive director of the chamber. Uh, everybody's very proud of you. You put a good show together <laughs> again today. You worked uh, very hard. Um, how many companies participated this evening? We had over 22 companies participating this evening from all sectors of uh, the industry. Uh, law, accounting, architecture, many, many, uh, many companies. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, the turnout was, again, um, impressive uh, this year. Uh, are you familiar if any people uh, actually uh, could be expecting to hear back from these companies? You know, Elena, the, the good thing about this is even if some companies don't have available positions at the present, the good thing is that they come out here, they network with the companies, they give their resumes out, and, um, you know, they use it uh, in the future. Uh, they'll they will be the first ones that they look and we've had a big success rate from the first career fair which was about 10 years ago and many many young people have been hired and moved on to you know big companies and positions so this is a good thing it's a it's, it's a good networking uh, opportunity as well Mr. Comodromos, uh, here we are again uh, this is a, a a tremendous public service uh, program that you're offering every year uh, to people who are seeking uh, to find a job. Uh, what are your uh, impressions from tonight's um, program? Basically the program uh, was decided by the Chamber and I think this is the seventh year that we are providing this opportunity for the young people to uh, uh, <clears throat> take advantage of uh, potential opportunities for employment. Um, my impression is that uh, it needs to be continued. We, as, as a chamber, we see this as an opportunity for us to provide um, uh, some service to our community, and I think this is a great, great opportunity for the young people uh, to make contact with potential employers, uh, the initial contacts, and hopefully they would uh, continue on to the second and third interview until they are fully employed. Uh, now, as far as the Chamber is concerned, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, you um, provide also a tremendous service to Cyprus, uh, being that uh, you work very closely uh, with the government as well. Um, what, what can you tell us about uh, uh, your recent meeting uh, with the um, uh, Minister of uh, Tourism, Mr. Lacodribis? Well, you know, the, the meeting with uh, Mr. Lacodribis was very... Uh, uh, very fruitful. Uh, we had uh, placed, um, uh, we had decided uh, along with him that uh, there are certain programs that we can help with. Uh, the government of Cyprus in, uh, in uh, coming out of the economic crisis. Uh, and and in, indeed, uh, those programs have been also discussed with the government spokesman. And, and some of those programs uh, were waiting for the green light uh, so we can. Uh, embark on the effort to, uh, to put them into action. Uh, namely, we are <clears throat> we're talking about um, an employment exchange program for young people from Cyprus to uh, match them with certain companies here in the United States and come under um, a certain uh, visa uh, provision to work for six months to a year mm -hmm. since they are unemployed now in Cyprus. It will be given the opportunity to come and sharpen their skills and then go back and, and use those skills in Cyprus instead of them leaving and going to another country forever, and so Cyprus would lose that talent. Uh, there are other programs and uh, things that we discussed. Um, we gave them ideas regarding um, uh, developing a, a, a conference once a year with the Cypriot business abroad to bring them into Cyprus and present them business opportunities as well as investing opportunities. We are the best ambassadors for Cyprus. And once we get the successful business people of Cyprus that are living abroad, bring them into Cyprus and give them an agenda, I think we can make things happen. Uh, that's one other idea that we discussed and that would engage also the, um, the Chamber of Commerce in Cyprus and that's going to create 
a, um, a cooperation between our chamber and all the chambers, Cypriot chambers around the world. Uh, we gave them ideas about the incubator programs that would create a lot of business opportunities in Cyprus. So there are a lot of things that we talk to them about and they are very receptive and we're just waiting for them to, uh, to throw the green light and uh, we're ready to go. And Actina TV and Actina FM, of course, are always here to cover all these activities of the Chamber, one of the strongest uh, organizations uh, here in the United States. Congratulations. Uh, absolutely. We thank you for that, Elena. You've been with us from day one. Yes. And, and we look forward to continue our relationship. And, and you know very well that the Chamber is always supporting you. And we thank you. Mr. Kazilukas, uh, you represent the Eisner Amber. Uh, did you collect a lot of resumes tonight? I collected about 10 resumes of people that uh, some of them would like to work for an accounting firm and some that I promised them I will email their resume out to other people that I know and see how we can help them. Tell us a little bit about your company. So we are a national accounting firm. We got about 1,400 people, offices in New York, New Jersey, Philly, California, um, Cayman Islands, India, and a few in Ireland and UK. And uh, in this uh sort of difficult time uh, for people looking for uh, jobs. Uh, uh, there's still jobs out there, right? Right now, there are a lot of jobs out there. The market has opened up. A lot of companies are investing money in new talent, and they're looking to hire people to expand going forward after the first quarter. Right now, they're looking to see whom can they hire so they can grow. Mm -hmm. And finally, your thoughts about today's uh, program? Today's event was very good. Uh, I do have to say that I would like to see more cooperation and more assistance from the other chambers and the other Hellenic organizations. Thank you, Mike. You're welcome. Thank you. On May 1st, the chamber also hosted its 11th annual awards uh, dinner gala and honored Andreas Kramvis with the Distinguished Cyprus Merit Award. The event took place at the New York Hilton before a full house of friends and members of the chamber, as well as many dignitaries, and was addressed by the president of the chamber, Nikos Karakostas. Mr. Granviz uh, was introduced by his longtime friend, John uh, De Levandos, partner at Arsenal Capital, who spoke very highly of the honoree and his many achievements over the years. Andreas Granviz is the vice chairman of Honeywell, a Fortune 100 multi-industry company with $40 billion in annual sales. He joined Honeywell through the acquisition of Pitway, where he was a key member of the team that took the company from $200 million in sales to $1.6 billion. Mr. Granviz, a native of Cyprus, was honored for his entrepreneurial achievements and successes over the years, including uh, his recent important input and contributions in supporting the effort for the recovery of the Cyprus economy. Mr. Granviz, uh, congratulations. A very well-deserved uh, honor. How do you feel? Well, I feel great. I think uh, to be recognized by the community, I think that's, uh, that's something I wasn't expecting, so it feels extremely good. I, I love the stories you shared from the beginning of your career all the way uh, to where you are now, the Vice President of Honeywell. And um, what I, my conclusion from your story is that you're a very proud Cypriot. Well, I'm, I'm a proud Cypriot. I'm a proud professional. I think it takes um, a certain interest in what you do. And, uh, of course, where we come from is very important. And, and finally, for those watching Actina TV, uh, uh, especially the younger generation, I would like you to uh, send your message and your advice. Well, I think um, you got to strive to do things that other people are not doing, push the limits, be curious, and keep working at it. And I think that's the best advice I can give. And study, as you said earlier. And go to you school. Gotta, yeah, you got to do that, absolutely. And study the ancient philosophers as uh, well. You know, they're perennial. That's <laughs> why everyone talks about them, and that's why they, don't, they will never die. You know what? I did say that was my last question, but uh, I think it's only appropriate to say a few words about the chamber. Well, the chamber is really doing an exceptional job. These are all volunteers. They have everyday jobs and businesses to run and they do it out of the goodness of their heart and their willingness to promote trade and uh, help uh, Cyprus, and I think that's, that's wonderful. Well, again, congratulations, and it was a pleasure uh, being in the, the company of you and, and the rest of your friends tonight. Wonderful, thank you for being here. Mr. Caragostas, uh, congratulations to you as well and to the rest of the board. Um, I am 
I'm terming this as one of your best uh, galas. Thank you, Elena. It uh, certainly was one of our best. We were truly honored to have Mr. Andres Granvis, the Vice Chairman of Honeywell, as our honoree of our 11th Annual Awards Gala. He's truly a wonderful, wonderful uh, man, uh, someone who has uh, great business acumen, but is also humble and has never forgotten his love of the Republic of Cyprus. Yes, that's what I, I told him too during our interview, that uh, above of all, uh, the moral of the story today is that he truly loves Cyprus. No question. He was here uh, supporting the chamber more than uh, wanting to be an honoree. He came reluctantly, but he realized how much exposure he would bring to the chamber uh, because he was being honored. And he brought all his family, his wonderful wife Shirley, his beautiful children, and a, a whole slew of friends, family, and business associates. And as you could see, we had a beautiful packed house tonight, and it was just a tremendous honor to have him as our as our distinguished honoree this evening. And let's uh, talk a little bit about the uh, Distinguished uh, Award of Merit, what it means, what is the uh, uh, message that uh, emanates? Our, that's a gr wonderful question. Our, our Distinguished Merit Award every year, annually, really uh, tries to honor someone who is committed to uh, representing business relations between the United States and the Republic of Cyprus and hopefully uh, encouraging more and more other businesses to interact in the same way. Final thoughts? Final thoughts? It was just a great night. Uh, I'm truly honored to have been the president during this wonderful time and have such a distinguished honoree and uh, bring such awareness uh, for the business between the United States and the Republic of Cyprus. And I'm glad you were here as well. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, and uh, we'll see you very soon. You know, Actina TV is always there. Yes, and we're always there to support you. Thank, thank you, thank my you. friend. Thank you. There's been a, what a sweet surprise for all of us, and a very well-deserved uh, surprise uh, for your hard work. Uh, you were offered uh, flowers on behalf of the uh, board of uh, the chamber this evening. I must say it was a wonderful surprise. Very thoughtful of the board to think of me that way. I've been working for the chamber for, you know, working with them for over 15 years. And we've done a lot of things together and had a lot of successful events. But I have to say, this was the most successful event uh, that we've had. Yes, it was a lot of hard work, but I'm happy to do it. And I'm very thankful that they recognized it. <laughs> well, indeed, uh, you know, I also attend all of your uh, galas, and this was indeed one of the uh, most successful ones. And uh, I really uh, enjoyed uh, uh, Mr. Granvis's uh, remarks and speech. Mr. Granvis is a intel very intelligent man, down to earth. He was a hands-on honoree, I have to say. He worked with me the entire time. He had his staff at Honeywell work with me to make sure that the event was going well, uh, calling me late at night to make sure that everything was fine. Uh, you know, they went out of the way. We've had a lot of sponsors, and as you see, we've had over 300 people here. Uh, but he's a down-to-earth gentleman, hardworking, uh, and like I said, extremely intelligent. We're very proud, you know, that he's a fellow Cypriot. <laughs> And finally, anything um, coming up in the very near future? Uh, we have, uh, we're going to have a lot of uh, seminars coming up in September. Uh, we have our Cyprus Young Professionals who are going to do something uh, next month. It's called the Agora. And they're going to uh, display a lot of Cypriot products, food and wine, and a little bit about the uh, Cyprus culture. So that should be coming up, and we'll let you know, you know how it's going to go. Thank you, Despina, and congratulations. Thank you, Elena, and congratulations to you. And I also want to invite everyone to call in for your fundraiser. fundraiser. <laughs> Come on, this is a great program. We need to support it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elena.